it's April from April's Home, and I have not filmed in a really long time. I haven't really filmed anything since our wildfire evacuation about a month ago. So I thought I would go ahead and get started again with a big grocery haul here. I will be sharing a little bit more about our evacuations and some of the things I learned about that, as well as wrapping up our garden, which was definitely affected by those wildfires. Um, and I'll be doing that in another video when I have a little bit of time to sit down and do that. We've been very busy with a lot of projects and things, but I definitely wanted to get on here and film my big pantry stock up for the fall. This isn't my monthly grocery shopping trip. This is a big sort of pantry stock up as well as a little bit of freezer and fridge stuff. Um, that I needed from Walmart. I will be doing another grocery shopping trip and sharing my meal plan around the 1st of November. So I will go ahead and get started with this big grocery haul again. I went to Walmart. I haven't been there in a couple of months, so I really needed to stock up on a bunch of things in preparation for the holiday season. I thought I would start making a dent in some of my baking supplies and uh, just some snacks and things that we love to have around the house as a family. So I tried to get a bunch of the things that I um, will need over the next couple of months. Before we get into the pantry goods, let's go ahead and um, look at some of the fresh foods that I did pick up. I um, They were out of chicken tenderloins, which I usually get, so I picked up the diced chicken breasts, which I like these too. It's a little bit of a smaller bag, a two pound um, bag, but that'll do just fine for just uh, the meals that I make for me and my husband. I picked up some Jimmy Dean sausage. We use that a lot. And two big three pound um, packs of hamburger. One of these I'm turning into a big uh, spaghetti dinner. We're going to have spaghetti and meat sauce for our family dinner night. So one of those is for that this weekend. I got a bag of sweet potatoes. We've still been loving those. I picked up some blueberry and pumpkin spice donuts. We love to have donuts with tea or coffee this time of year. Got some Wonder Bread. And then, uh, let's see, a mixture of things from the freezer and fridge section. This is a kielbasa we'll use. And then a turkey ham. I love having these, or um, just regular ham or turkey ham in the fridge. They last a really long time in the fridge, and you can make so many different uh, meals with these. So I love to have that on hand. I picked up some orange chicken for quick fix nights. Again, we're doing a lot of painting projects, finishing up some redecorating projects now, so I've been doing a lot of quicker meals on the nights that we're really busy with that. I got some meatballs, and again, for a quick fix night, a cheesy ranch and chicken skillet meal. We really enjoy those. The pepper and onion blend, we go through a lot of these with our fajitas or sausages and pepper um, and rice meals. Also, any sweet and sour meal, if I make sweet and sour meatballs or kielbasa, that's what I use for that. Picked up a turkey pot pie and two packs of the California style veggie mix. And then some of the chicken flavored rice and then some mixed veggies. I also got a couple tubs of Cool Whip to start building up my stock of that for um, pumpkin pies. And then I picked up a bunch of crescent rolls and then I thought I would try these sweet biscuits. This is the blueberry variety. Um, yummy little uh, biscuits with icing. And I also thought I would have some cinnamon rolls on hand. And then some crinkle cut french fries and potato wedges. So I picked up a couple more uh, cranberry sauces, both the jelly and the whole berry. Um, just to have on hand again for Thanksgiving coming up. And then I saw these, I have not tried these before, the Honey Jiffy Corn Muffin Mix. We go through a lot of corn muffin mix. We use it for corn muffins, toppings on different like tamale casseroles, as well as um, cornmeal muffin pancakes. So when I saw they had honey, my husband and I thought that, that looked like it would be really interesting to try out. So we'll have to give that a try and see how we like it. Picked up some rice aroni and chicken flavor, and then some instant mashed potatoes. I use these for thickening cream soups. Um, if I have a potato soup or something like that and I want to thicken it, I just add a little bit of instant mashed potatoes and it works wonders. 
picked up a couple of the Butter and Herb Idahoan Instant Mashed Potatoes. Those are also really good. And a couple of mild taco packets. My favorite tea lately has been this Irish Breakfast by Twinings. I go through quite a bit of this now. I decided to get a big jug of the mild picane sauce. I've been using it in different recipes. I made a really yummy salsa chicken the other day um, and went through quite a bit of it. So I decided a bigger jug would be a good thing to have in the pantry. Then I got three more boxes of the agratin potatoes. I make these on the stovetop. They're very quick and very easy and really yummy. And then this is a new thing that I saw, a mac and cheese flavored like Cheetos. So I'll be very curious if it really tastes like Cheetos. I just got one box of those. It just looked like something fun to try. And then I got some uh, Lipton noodle soup packets. These are for a recipe that I make. And then I just realized I have more fresh items. These are all of my um, lunch type items. I picked up some whipped chai flavored uh, cream cheese, some pineapple cottage cheese, and some sour cream and margarine. Got some of these nacho cheese packs. My kids also enjoy these, so I like having them on hand for when they're over. And then I got a bunch of cheese for just sandwiches, as well as cheese and crackers, some provolone, some Havarti, um, some string cheese, some Swiss cheese, some shredded mozzarella, some bacon pieces, some cream cheese for just different recipes, some butter, and then a bunch of lunch meat. Ham and cheese loaf, which I haven't had, I, I'm not even sure I've had it for a very, very long time. And then also pickle and pimento loaf. Just thought I'd try something a little bit old fashioned for this uh, month's uh, lunches. And roast beef, my husband and I both love that. And my husband really loves honey ham, so I got that for him. Some little smokies to make for Halloween for our appetizers. I picked up this for one of my lunches. It's a dry cured pepperoni with mozzarella and then some little olives on the side. So I thought that would be a really yummy little lunch one day. Picked up some eggs and some Yakult. This is the probiotic drink. I really love this. I try to drink them every day if I can remember to. And then um, some Colby Jack shredded cheese and some more roast beef and pepper jack cheese. And my husband um, picked up one of his candy bars, a uh, Midnight Milky Way. Okay, now back to pantry goods here. I've got a big bag of flour and some sugar and vegetable oil for just starting to, again, get ready to do all my holiday baking. Some raisins, some um, craisins, some uh, powdered sugar, and dark brown sugar and uh, light brown sugar. Got a brownie mix here, the Supreme Triple Chunk. And then I thought I would try out these. My husband really loves coffee flavor, so I thought that these would be a really fun uh, baking chip to use in a cookie recipe. They are espresso flavored morsels, so that looked really good. I also picked up some just regular semi-sweet and butterscotch morsels. Then we definitely um, got a bunch of snacks to have on hand for the pantry. We were running really low, so I just thought I would totally restock all of our snacks. That way we have plenty for lunches and movie nights and things like that. So I got a family fun pack of chips here and some microwave popcorn. I haven't purchased microwave popcorn in a long time. I usually just make air pop um, from the whole kernels that I buy in big uh, packages at Costco, which we love. We love our air popper, but sometimes if we just want a little bit, we didn't want to um, pull out the air popper and do that. So I thought I would give a uh, microwave popcorn a try again. So I got that and then the cheesy flavor and we'll see how we like those. I really love these Cheetos popcorns too. So I got a little tiny bag of that. And then this was an exciting find here. These are my husband's absolutely favorite chips, the Lay's Lightly Salted Barbecue Chips. And we haven't been able to find these for months and he's been all out and um, he's tried a lot of other barbecue chips and none um, are his favorite like this one so he was so excited we bought a few of these to put away in the pantry um, for sure because we were so excited to um, come across these so glad we found that bought a little bit more Halloween candy I already have a lot um, but I figured I better buy one more big bag and one more medium bag here just in case 
And then I thought I would try out this uh, Fruity Pebbles candy bar. My husband and I both really love Fruity Pebbles, so we are going to split this candy bar and see what it's like. That might be one of our Halloween treats. And I bought some circus animal cookies in a little 12-pack, uh, so we'd have those on hand. Some little um, cheese and cracker packets for, like, on-the-go snacks, as well as some of these Ritz, Ritz uh, cheese crackers. I got some pinwheel, classic Nabisco pinwheel cookies. Haven't had those in a while. Thought that they sounded really good. Um, picked up a couple packs of our favorite Biscoff cream filled uh, cookies. We love those. And then I got this. I haven't seen this cookie before. I absolutely love tea biscuits. And again, I've been drinking a lot of tea lately. So I thought that this would be a yummy cookie to try out. The Social Tea Biscuits by Nabisco. They look really classic and old fashioned. So I'm excited to try those out. Then I picked up these. It's a very early for Christmas. Um, but Christmas stuff is all around there. We did actually purchase a couple of Christmas decorations and I thought I would pick up these mint chocolate Twinkies. Those sounded really good. I also got some blueberry Nutri-Grain bars, some Triscuit Thin Crisps for cheese. I thought I'd have this on hand for company, just a cheese it snack mix, the sweet and salty variety with M&Ms and uh, caramel popcorn and uh, little crackers and things. This is a really good mix to have out. We've got some graham crackers. Then I thought I would try these out. I love crullers, and I have never tried Krispy Kreme crullers, um, so I'm really interested to see how these taste, if they're any good. I don't know that they'll be like real crullers, but I thought I would give them a try. It looked like fun, so I picked that up. And then a bunch of drinks. We got some coffee, and we've been really loving the little cans of sodas, so Mountain Dew and Cherry um, Coke and Cream Soda, and a pack of the mini Dr. Peppers. I also got some peach and blackberry bubbly. And then uh, to save for Thanksgiving, I got some sparkling apple pear and some sparkling apple peach. I would love to find some more of the apple peach. It seems like something my family would really enjoy. I got a crayon blackberry and some more of the apple soda and some of the winter spiced cranberry. Again, I just wanna make sure that my drink section is all full um, for the holidays. Then I got some pastas, some egg noodles, and then this kind of egg pasta that looked really good. Some more pumpkin, a big can of beef stew for the pantry, I thought I would try these. I've seen other people try them. Fried apples with cinnamon, they sound really good. And um, we'll have to have that as a side as a side dish one night. Couldn't forget the dogs. I got them these. They're called Beneful, um, let's see, Baked Delight Hugs. And it's a beef and cheese flavor little puff treat there. I'll give those to them today after I'm done putting away groceries. I think they'll be happy with that. I got some of the Barilla Tortellini, the cheese and spinach flavor, some Orzo, some, I think it's Assini di Pepe, the little round sort of ball shaped ones. We love those. Some regular spaghetti for our spaghetti night. Needed more pineapple tidbits. I make a tea sandwich with this pimento spread, so I thought I would get some of that. Some uh, classic Alfredo, some little tuna packs here. Uh, my husband picked out the lemon and pepper one. And then I also got us each of these little lunch to go kits with um, little tuna and crackers and things in it, just if we want to take a lunch on the go. I got more Parmesan cheese, a can of Rotel, three jars of our tomato and basil sauce, my favorite. And then I needed more mustard. And I love the Sweet Baby Ray's Honey Mustard Dipping Sauce, so I got that. And then a jar of mayo. And then lastly, two more drinks. The um, little tiny Big Birds apple, um, organic apple juices for my grandson. And a big pack of yoo for myself and the kids. Um, again, to just have on hand, so we have lots of drink choices for everyone um, when they're here throughout the holiday season. So those are all of our groceries. You can see we got really stocked up. Again, I haven't been to Walmart in a very long time, um, at least a couple of months now, so I really was eager to get in there and stock up on some of our pantry items, as well as pick up some of our groceries. And so that is my grocery haul. I will again be sharing another grocery haul at the 1st of November with our November meal plan. I hope you enjoyed taking a look at everything we stocked up on at Walmart. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you later. Goodbye.